We'll get to it when in the 12 o'clock hour. You're, are, a, a new dynasty well, is being formed in the Bay. Well, okay, so just, yeah. that that's more than a tease. Uh, it's actually say so you're calling a 49er dynasty before they've ever won their first yes, Super Bowl. I, no doubt about it. Okay. Yeah. You, you talk sure about the Garden a, of Eve. You sure this that's is not the emotion of, of no, this weekend's no, no, football? No, no, no way. No, <laughs> have nothing to do with that. By the way, you were retweeted by NBA Central. Is that a uh, F? And the thing had like a million views on it for your take yesterday on Andrew Wiggins. You got to move him, even if it's for just you got to get off of him. I forgot to tell you. I didn't see that. Yeah, I said via Steiny and Guru. I said he must know. Oh, uh, your name was stuck on there. Yeah, you know, I had <laughs> that's why you noticed it. No, I saw it said at Steinmetz NBA. Hmm. I think if I do going viral, I wish he would have had more more of the details. The specific uh, specific tweet, dude. I got a possible torn ACL. Uh oh, why from the airplane uh, <laughs> thing? I'm going through stuff. Oh yeah. boy, are you all right? Yeah. Okay, let's go to. Uh, we're talking. Hey, listen, listen. I'm not coming in. If you think I'm coming in here every day for the next four months and listening to Daryl the Guru Johnson talk about how this team stinks and how everybody's a mess and how hey, they can't please. win a game That's you. and you thought they'd be better and this thing, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's what there are you ways do. that no, I'm I'm on to Cincinnati. You want to cling to the dynasty? Cling to the dynasty. I'm telling you, I'm ready to, I'm ready to start the process. Wow, man! Let's move off Andrew Wiggins, okay? Let's know that we can move off Clay and Chris Paul if we need to at the end of the year. Let's start the process of dismantling wow, the team. Man. I'm I'm Van Gundy holding on to Zoe Morning's leg, okay? But but you can't hold on to his leg. And yell and scream about where the team is. Yeah, but I can if they no, don't make can. a move for Siakam or shock the world and bring in somebody that can help Curry. That yeah. I can. But do. when people say you want it both ways, that's what they mean. Just FYI. No, no, don't kill the messenger. No, the only way I want it is to win. Yeah. That's all. Okay. As long as Steph win, is win. here and they continue to win, if that's well, what I play or Dre, they're not okay. They haven't won for two years now, really. That's the thing. All right, well. This we're not all the, it, as bleak as it looks right now. Okay. Shout out Memphis. So then, we still got time okay. in this season. So you cannot come. I you're not allowed to come in. Yeah, you're not allowed to come in Thursday and cry and yell like a baby if you, they lose. I to can San do Jose. whatever I want. Uh, it's my life and my voice. Not on my show. It's our show. <laughs> but that's all right. You know what I'm saying? No, I just hate when you you you, you paint me. Accurately. Something I'm not, no. Paint you accurately. You're, coming, you're negative Nancy, and then you want to say, Guru's coming in here every day. I'm just despondent. I'm hurt. I'm bleeding. Why? Well, then let's, okay, let's. Because I don't like everything put, that's going on well, let's, off the court let's, as well as on the court. Well, that's because. I didn't see okay. that loss yesterday in Memphis, and it's okay if what I come tomorrow? in here. What about tomorrow? I, I could see them losing okay. to a hot Utah team. Okay. Then what about Friday? Dallas in here. We'll be in the house. It's got to start somewhere, bud. Okay. Well, no, it doesn't, Goo. Ooh. See, no, it doesn't. And that's where, you know, I'm, I'm sick of being painted a pessimist when I'm a realist. But the reality is I'm working with uh, Merlin, the magician over here, that thinks things are going to change. I, can, I have a plan. All right. Okay, I have a plan. I'm not a politician that says vote for me and I'll figure it out. And I'm also not a politician coming in here saying, you know what? The streets are dirty. Windows are broken. This place is run down. There's nothing we can do. I'm giving up. No, sir. Yeah. No, sir. Let's go to D in Washington, D.C. D. What's up, D? How you doing, buddy? Study my man. Goo goo. What's, What's up, up man? baby? Hey, Sonny, you know how much I value your basketball knowledge, right? But I have a question for you, also a comment. Okay. My question is, how much blame do you place on Kerr for the construction of the roster? That's the question. Mm. The comment that I have, the comment that I have, I believe it is time to totally move away from Looney and Wiggins as members of the front court. The time has come to trade both Looney and Wiggins to get bigger and more athletic at center. Looney can't even protect the paint on defense, nor he can't provide anything on offense. 
Now, center slots need to be upgraded ASAP. Mm. Compliment. Steph, Clay, Dre, old legs. So please, answer my question, Stanley, because you're always very quick to put all the blames on Steph. Oh, no, no, no. I want to hear your answer. This I'm going to hang up and listen to you from the other side. Of the Have a good day, D. What, what's the question? Uh, how much blame do you put on Kerr for the construct of this roster? I got to tell you, I don't know. Well, I don't know how much input man. Kerr has on the roster. Yeah. I don't. Here's Bill Simmons. Well, what did he say? He's... See? Who's the negative one here? Because <laughs> it ain't hot. Let me hear. Here we go. Bill Simmons. He's a... Uh, how would you say... What would you? How would you describe Bill Sing Simmons? A pariah. <laughs> Evan. <laughs> who's he working for? What's he do? I, he's a big boy. He's, he, he it's runs Bill the, He runs the ringer. Oh, okay. Well, news to me. Here's what he said. It's not I was trying news. to think how to save the Warriors, who looked like dog <laughs> last night. I can do it in two trades. Trade number one, Toronto. Send him Andrew Wiggins, he's Canadian. Jonathan Kaminga, send him an unprotected first and get Pascal Siakam back. He's an expiring free agent. They're going nowhere anyway. They can roll the dice with Kaminga, who I think has a chance to be really good. He's only 21. That's trade number one. Trade number two, they got to end the Draymond era. Send him to the Lakers. He'll be super happy. He gets to play with LeBron James. LeBron keeps him in check. It makes too much sense. All right, what do the Lakers have to give up? How about Rui Hachimura? Oh. And a 2029 20, unprotected first round pick for Draymond. And you send that to Chicago for Vucevic, who gets rerouted to the Warriors for Draymond. So the Warriors end up with a center with a, you know, score rebounder, great offensive IQ. Vucevic, Siakam, all their young wings. Oh. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Jackson Davis. They kept Looney. I like it. I think we can save the season. I got you, Steph Curry. Wow. What does save the season mean? And where was he? Did he have I had a cab? No, he was, did he have a flat? Interstate five. And what just... about Pro Wiggins is Canadian? Like, oh, okay, we'll take him because but boy, you know I'm a Vucevic fan, and I would take Ruri in a second, man. That would change Steiny, man. But that come on. Do like, they get Rui? Yeah. On that trade? I thought that they get Rui. Evan, you're laughing and because the way I did it. They get uh, Rui, <laughs> Hachimura, and Vucevic. Vucevic? I thought. That he was no saying they, they, they flip him for boost. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I thought they had both. <laughs> Ow. He's Canadian. That bothered me, actually, too. <laughs> wow. Like, yeah, Mikey. He won't eat it. He hates everything. Remember the old Mikey Life commercial? Worked for R.J. Barrett. He'll, Toronto will take him. He'll take anybody. Okay. That's also yeah. a plan. Yeah, here's the other thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Masai Yahiri in uh, Toronto. So let me get this straight. We're going to trade Pascal, Pascal Siakam for two guys who are proving they can't play together, but we'll take them both. What are we doing? <sighs> I'm hoping. Here's the one, Here's the thing I think a team like where the Warriors are, something that they've got to be prepared for, and that is if you want to trade for a guy like Siakam, go ahead and trade for a guy like Siakam. But you have to understand, and it can't scare you if he walks for nothing. It can't scare you. Well, you got to put your big boy pants on, Stani, because exactly. to get Siakam, of you're going you're gonna to have to get rid of Jonathan Kaminga. Nope. I, yeah, okay. there's no, sure. I get it. Like, that's what, it takes money to make money, and you got to do that. His future and what you think he can be. And is he the is he the next after Steph Curry? We know there's no Steph. I'm just saying, like, man, I mean, I just think it would be a seamless fit for Siakam and Steph Curry and whatever you put around them to. Ray Brennan on the YouTube chat says, Bobby Marks thinks you can get Siakam and Siakam for Chris Paul and Jonathan Kaminga. No picks. Okay. Oh man. I'd hate to do it, but I'd do it. Well, then, I mean, I don't even, okay, if just yeah. just let me put yeah. some money pants on yeah. for a second off the top of my head. So if you trade Kaminga, who was the other guy? Bobby Marks is saying Kaminga and, and CP3, yeah. that's about, what, 38, 9 million for Siakam. Okay, Siakam. The problem is Siakam's making thirty-seven million. Are you pay? Are you ready to let him walk? 
You would you don't make that trade if you think he's going to walk. Like that's a because under that but scenario, isn't he good enough to kind of go ahead. Under that yeah. scenario, you got Curry still at fifty five. You still have Wiggins on the roster at twenty five. You got Green on the roster at twenty five, and you still have to figure out what to do with Clay. So you you still can't okay if. What I don't think like? you're paying Siakam. I don't think the Warriors want to pay Siakam $120 million over the next three years. Then I would say Joe doesn't want to extend this thing because well, he's shown us at every turn and he gets all the credit right. in the world. He's blown past these thresholds, Donnie. Mm-hmm. So if you want to continue to win, you got to spin. Plus, Evan, tell tell everybody about that second apron we got to try to get under. Uh-oh. Like, I don't think we can get Siakam in here, pay him, and then be under that what apron. What dip, though? Yeah, I was gonna say you, you can. It just would involve Clay either taking a Man. massive pay cut or him walking completely. Because mm. you do have thirty million coming off in Chris Paul, which would get you under the apron regardless. Right, but this is the the, the one of the the one of the problems that the Warriors have is you, you kind of ex- you, you need Paul's money to come off. Yep, and you know, I don't know. And who's to say Clay Stani? I know. Well, you haven't disagreed, or we yeah. haven't, but there are five teams I can name that would love Clay Thompson as their shooter. And I just, I do wonder, and you guys could call me crazy, I do think if there's, I, I do wonder, and and Clay has been uh, truthful, mm-hmm. he's been open, he had Draymond Green's back, so I don't want to come in here and be the dude, Skip Bayless, trying to be divisive. But I do wonder if there's some resentment from the organization on Clay's standpoint, from sta- uh, Clay's vantage point, that they gave Green the money and the contract with everything that comes with the Green experience, and Clay's not done that. So Clay looking at it like, okay, you guys are going to put me in this predicament to where I got to play this year out. So I do wonder if Clay. You know, and he's kind of alluded to it, the Drake, the Tupac, me against the world. If he's kind of looking at it like, you know what, is realistically, maybe I will don another uniform. And the Lakers could use a Clay Thompson. I feel like the Milwaukee Bucks could use a Clay Thompson. You know, there there's some teams. You mean contenders? That, yeah, contenders. Okay. Well then you you're acknowledging you're not a contender. But you said you're not ready to do that. No, no. I I, I Clay walking. Doesn't oh, walking it. at the end of the yeah, year. At the end of the year. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant move him right no. now. Uh, Just talking about that apron. Uh, Evan was talking about when I'm telling you, you can, you can, you can get through this. You just have to. You just have like. Where is it at now? In Steiny's words, where, where, where is this now? What do you mean? Like, well, you, you, in your mind, what, you're already like, ooh, I was I need, on this project two years ago. How bad is, how dire do you think it is? First of all. Because they haven't even started. When you get a new house, a fixer-upper, you tear stuff down, and then you build it back up. Yeah, first, Are first the Warriors, all, have they went to Home Depot to even get the necessaries? Do first, they even know they're rebuilding? I don't know what they know. The tear down. It ain't there, even started. You know, it's 510. On the Comcast, and I get this. Quit talking that mess. Uh, if you're logic, you had the exact same take two years ago. I uh, know. See, that's the other issue. It wasn't two years ago I had this take. Now it's two and a half years ago. Two years ago, this team was thirty-one and nine. Two years ago, or thirty and ten. Two years ago, this team was thirty and ten. At that point, nobody said it was over. At thirty and ten, you're saying, "Oh my God, could they do it again?" I don't think so. Could they do it again? I don't think so. Yeah. I wasn't saying it was over two years ago. I said I thought it was over two and a half years ago. So what I'm saying is two years ago this team was 30 and 10. They ain't that team now. They're not even close. That's all I'm saying. In fact, like what if I told you this, how, how do you get around this, Goo? How, how do you get around this? Where, right now. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson have never, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, over the course of their entire career together, All right. together have never shot it worse, defended this poorly, or made fewer plays for teammates. They, they've never shot it worse, defended worse, or made fewer plays for teammates. So, how, how, what? Where do we go if we acknowledge that's probably not going to get better? Your two most important players of the dynasty. How can one? 
I could be in a little denial and say what's around them has eroded and has contributed to that, to what you talk, you talk okay. about, okay? Or two, I got to get off one of the two or break that up. And maybe they're together both break, bringing each other down. So if Clay walks and you were to, you know, facilitate a trade and bring something in here to put next to Steph, maybe, you know, that number two, that second best player, which right now is just musical chairs, Maybe maybe you would alleviate the problem that way, but boy, that that you know their shooting that you talked about, just the shooting in general by the whole team, uh, is is at an all time low to me during this Kerr era and this Kerr run. And also, what I'm starting really not to like and get irritated by, and Exhibit A was yesterday against Memphis. Guys, I don't even know were in the league. Everybody that plays the Warriors, Stani, the three ball, they just turn into Larry Bird collectively. And I believe that's bad defense, poor closeouts, but good God. Every, it's also the it, roster construction. It, it, it's uh, just it's maddening, roster. man. It's an aging roster. Pop, pop, pop. We'll get an open. We're playing the Warriors. Pop, pop, pop. Somebody's going to get open. Look, pop. And that's how you get down 40, well, 25 to 7. So you know what they need? Falls off for having pride. Just gotta have pride in yourself as a man. And I'm not gonna let my guy score. And well, our closeouts was too soft. Our rotations were too slow. So it's just no pride. Like, and until every guy take pride in themselves and want to stop the guy in front of them, what's up? There you go. There's your answer. What if? Like, there's no need to ask any more questions. There's your I'd answer. I say, hey, Drake, put your some guy. names on that. I Tough will. guy, okay. put Curry, some names on that. Clay, everybody in the roster. Yeah, because you ain't playing DPOY level. He would say everybody on the roster. All right. But that's where I'm at with that. Like, I'm so... Well, you're I, what do you I, mean? I, I'm just... Every, th that ring's hollow. Like, it don't but even... But you wanted him back. Yeah, yeah, for activity on the court. And it didn't have, It didn't manifest yesterday. I got it wrong. Shocker. I'm no, just talking no, no, about no. the microphone game. And so how long you been sitting on that, Drake? Because you ain't been around. You've been on your ass watching this team bust his ass, trying to make up for your absence. Now you want to come tell us what's going wrong. Okay, but, but hold on to that. But what you expect? We maybe the coach should say that. Well, the coach said. We coach said poorly. what? He said we played. He said we played poorly on defense. Too many turnovers and fouls. But the issue is, Draymond's back, and he he's Draymond, and we're mad and pissed off again. From the land of hell on like, the NorCal Credit Union. I'm not in my feelings. Dude, I'm a part of the team. We're a part of the team. I'm not. I, I feel a part. I'm, I'm invested. I know they can do better. They can no, play they can. better. They, they can. can. See that? They can. 